tour with Michael Flute. For those of you who don't know, he created and is co-starring on E's new show, Scouted. Hi, Michael. Thank you for joining me You're today. You're very welcome. And now, what can we expect to see on Scouted? This is a show about um, girls who've never, ever dreamed of actually being a model, um, who one day, very much like a Cinderella story, get mm -hmm. discovered by one of our scouts. How many girls are on the show, and where did you send your scouts out to find them? Well, it starts with hundreds of girls who are scouted by the individual scouts, mm -hmm. and the individual scouts are in region. Once you get the girls to New York, what are we going to be seeing you guys do with them? First, they go to see our expert hairdresser, and we evaluate the hair and decide mm -hmm. what kind of a haircut they should have. Yeah. And then from there, they meet with Danny and we evaluate the kind of clothes that they should wear for the test. And now, what made you want to show this to America? The actual discovery of finding these girls was really fascinating because every girl had a backstory and every story that she had was really interesting. Like their, their home life, what their parents thought, what their boyfriend thought once they were discovered. And I always thought that, that would make great television to kind of take the cameras to places we've never seen before yes. and meet these people and then f see the actual process of how a girl actually gets okay. developed. Dealing with all these girls, did you come across any favorites and how did you deal with that going through the whole process with them? Of course, I think that there are certain girls that their personality will drive them to excel more than the others. So it's not a physical thing. It's not like I like one girl more because she's taller or she's blonde. I think there is a natural um, admiration for somebody who really wants this. And now what advice would you give girls at home? I know a lot of it is obviously the scouting, but what could they do if they hope to become a model one day? Um, pay very close attention to their diet. Uh, be extremely fit and athletic, but not to be obsessive. Obviously, it's all about encouraging wellness. Um, and there is, you know, an important aspect of you being psychologically ready. So really be ex understand the business, read about it, know who photographers are, especially fashion photographers, and read the credits in magazines, know who the stylists are, the makeup artists are, the special, especially the important ones. Knowing what brands are doing, right? Mm -hmm. Subscribing to, mag you know, industry magazines like Women's Wear Daily and understanding like what's happening in that economy. If you truly want to be a model, I think being prepared and coming into New York, understanding that is a huge plus. Models are really coming off that page and thanks to the digital world and all these behind the scenes looks we get. And how important is that? Because when you get back there, sometimes you meet a model and you know, she doesn't necessarily have the same spark that she right. had coming down the runway. In the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and very much all of the 90s, uh, a model was one dimensional. Today, every client is booking a model and, and, and a photographer, and they're booking a crew. Yeah. And they're showing the behind the scenes and the making of that ad, or what's happening on the runway, or they're actually stopping a model on a, on a, on a red carpet and talking to her. So you have to be expressive, you have to be communicative, and you have to be really intelligent, and you have to know about current events and pop culture. It's no longer just like, you know, stand on the wall and like, you know, stare into a camera. So when you walk into a casting, and Mark Jacobs has maybe been inspired by The Great Gatsby because that's what he just watched, you know, three or four months ago, and he asks you a question about that movie, or you're looking at, you know, the, uh, the board, and you see all these images, can you imagine if you turned around and you said to him, oh my God, I love The Great Gatsby. It's one of my favorite movies. I mean, that's gonna make him want to book you. And so I think information, intelligence is all a part of what makes a great model today. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining us. Thank you. For all your celebrity news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.